bright. Okay, I'll spare you. I am about to take Levi outside and I just slept for like 14 hours, so I feel a little bit alive. Woohoo! We got some good stuff coming up ahead of us today. I ate a lot of blueberries yesterday, so my mouth is blue still. But another one of my goals is to get ready for the shiny vigil tonight for their one of their members who took his own life and it's really important to somebody that's important to me, Morgan. So I'm gonna go out and support her because she's helping to organize it. And yeah, but that's like late tonight. And then we have a Levi. He's pouting because when I woke up, like I s fell asleep with the salt shaker in my bed and it like got salt everywhere and including in my camera. So when I heard like this crunching noise when I opened my camera, I was like, no. And so I used the hair dryer to get the salt out. But I promised Levi we would go outside first. So let's let's do that. Shall we, Levi? Levi. Okay. Okay, Levi, let's go. Good boy. We outside. It's a little cold. I grabbed us whatever I could find on the way here. One of my mom's things. The Levi's chilling. I'm gonna blow him off in a minute when I go inside. <sighs> All right, so it's 9.47. I got me and a puppy. Levi and I and my mom are gonna go to Ulta and Target for some things. Gonna come home, gonna rest. Ooh, what are you doing? Oh, are you silly boy? Oh, the silliest boy. We call this the whale eye. Out of Target alive, didn't we, puppy? I went out to the car early because the popcorn smells were out of control in there. Okay, freeze right here. What is about to unfold in this vlog is how a delayed onset allergic reaction can manifest without me even knowing it until piecing it together days later. Inside Target, I had a prolonged exposure, like 15 minutes or so, to airborne corn oil without my mask on. I should have walked out immediately upon entering, but I wanted to get the thing I came there for and leave quickly. Then, I drank coffee out of a paper Starbucks cup which had been sitting out in close proximity to where the popcorn was being made for who knows how long. I can only assume that that made it worse, and the question I might be asking myself if I were looking at it from the outside is like, why didn't you immediately leave upon knowing that you were exposed to one of your most severe allergens? And the truth is there isn't one reason, and I don't know exactly, but I will say that paying attention to what my body is doing can be exhausting and it's impossible to keep up with 100% of the time because I'm only human. Levi alerted but I wasn't feeling well already so I didn't think much of it. I was just too distracted by preparing for that evening and anxious about what's going on that I didn't even realize what was happening until it was too late and I was having a full-blown reaction. Okay, back to the vlog. And then I'm just finishing getting the stuff and then we will be leaving. Sorry, I didn't put my head in the frame there. I wasn't paying attention. Not bad. Okay, Levi, you ready to get in the car? Ready? Good boy. Turn around. Good boy. Down. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. Oh, here's your treat. My bad. I just figured I'd do like a little car vlog while we're sitting in here waiting for mom about what's going on. Symptoms today, I honestly still am feeling better than I did yesterday, definitely before I went to sleep. Like I was miserable before I went to sleep yesterday. It was bad. I'm thankful right now that my mom is inside 
getting me a double decaf espresso because I was really in the mood for like a latte. Or sorry, I've been clinking these the whole time. I'm done, they're done. Other things, I haven't filled my new prescriptions yet, but I plan on doing it soon and starting my new meds on Monday. I just don't wanna like mess up anything before I go out of town this weekend because I'm celebrating Christmas tomorrow with my family in Clearwater. You guys watching all the little kids outside. Good boy. Yes, the puppy. I'm just taking each day as it comes and trying to maximize the moment if I'm given it but not go overboard. It's a tough thing to balance. So I'm definitely gonna be doing some ice roller on my face later because it is looking plump, not the good kind. Like I know I get inflammation right here and right here and I can feel it too. Ooh. Okay, I'll put the air on. You, you want the air on? All right, I'm clearly brain dead, so. Okay, bye. We're home, I'm tired. I'm gonna go inside and lay down for a bit. Okay. I'll be in touch. Got all the things. Hi. It's 7.30 and all I've been doing for the rest of the night and day has just been self-care, rest. I painted my nails for Christmas. That's about it really. Uh, in a little while, my cousin Morgan's coming to take me or my mom's gonna drive us and drop us off downtown Orlando for a vigil. That's it, and I'm gonna bring you along. Come along. Makeup is on fleek tonight. Hello. So, we got Morgan, we went to Ligiola, and then I realized I didn't have any treats. And this is an extremely high distraction environment with dogs that just run up to you, swans that will growl at you and attack you, and 40 year old women that run up to me and say, can I say hi to your golden? And I'm just like, so he's acting like a idiot and I'm not at the capacity where I can function if he's not focused and so I'm making an executive decision to take a break and or go home because it's not fair to him number one to stress him out it's not fair to me to stress myself out with Levi being psycho and I was really excited to come to this event tonight, but I just like, <sighs> my body's out and my head's out and Levi is not focused and if I had treats and I could just refocus him on me all the time and it sounds like I'm relying a lot on treats, but like that's not true. This is just a brand new high distraction environment and I have to get him used to it. And I was gonna, and he would have been fine within 20 minutes of like, focused training hey freeze again so what I don't realize what's going on here is that Levi was actually doing his job because he was being a jerk and trying to get me out of that environment because he knew that I was having an allergic reaction and my body was out and my head was out because I was having that reaction and it was just very slow in hindsight, I can look back and see that that's obviously what was happening, but in the moment, it was really hard for me to see what was happening because I was so overstimulated and feeling so sick, and I mean, from the beginning of this vlog to now, you can see how much my face has swelled up since being exposed to that corn. It's just wild to me how this whole thing unfolded. And it just didn't happen. And I'm just really upset with myself. I feel like it's my fault. I feel like I'm quitting. <sighs> Seem like that. Just sucks and I'm disappointed. 
but I really am not feeling well. I needed Levi tonight, but like service dogs aren't machines. And he has a day like this, like once every couple of months. He was just being such a jerk and then he started barking and it was just like not for an alert bark. It was like, I want that duck alert. I always wanna put Levi's health above mine because if he's healthy then he can help me be healthier and I was like I'm trying to make it seem like I'm making a mature informed decision but it's hard to rationalize it when from the outside it looks like I'm just quitting it just like sucks because I don't know what to decide I don't know how to feel all right so I guess just head home And this inflammation is wild. I'm so inflamed. I just feel bad because the thing that I was going to is important to Morgan. And I just feel like my illness always makes me, always like holds me hostage as like a jerk because it's like, no, you cannot do that thing and then now you look like a flake and people think you just don't wanna come or you let your anxiety get the best of you or whatever. Cause that's not it. When I choose not to do something, there's probably the benefits outweigh the costs of not going.